which is when you mentioned spiritual, that's part of the whole thing about yoga, is you're more in the present moment instead of rushing for some future event which probably won't exist anyway. Well, that huh? sounds like something we could all benefit from. Yeah. How exactly does it work? Well, um, th what the Lama said is we've got energy centers in the body, like electricity is all around us. We can't see it, but it's there. It's the same with the universal energy called prana or chi, right? Chi, which people are familiar with with acupuncture. Well, what the Lama said is if you can get these energy centers spinning at the same even rate, you would actually go backwards in age, right? It would be an anti-aging thing, because as we get older, some of these chakras, they're called energy centers, slow down. And where they slow down, that's where disease and stagnation builds up. And where they're too rapid, we get this classic Western anxiousness. So the whole point of them, really, is to get the life energy distributing evenly throughout the body. And when that happens, you get healthier, because um, it's like um, nerve, our nervous system and capillaries, there's an equal number, in fact there's 72,000, they call them nadis, centers where the energy fl moves through the body, and if they're all clear and the energy's flowing freely, you're much healthier, happier, more present, and that's where it's more spiritual. Okay, now you've written a book about the rites, mm. and in the book it's a little bit hard to demonstrate them here and now, but yeah. there are very clear illustrations of each of these moves. Yeah. It's quite muscular, isn't it? Well, it's more like a dance, really. Um, a lot of people are familiar with people holding tremendous yoga postures and being very athletic. This is the yoga for everybody, literally, because they're not very complicated. They're actually really easy, and you repeat them. You build up until you're doing 21 of each. It sounds a lot, but you start on your first week with just three, and then you add two every other week. So in 10 weeks' time, you'll be doing 21 of each. Um, so they're not difficult. And because I've taught about 600 people, I know all the tricks and all the common mistakes people make, and they're all in the book. So if you happen to sort of get dizzy in the first right, which is a spin, then there are methods outlined in the book to tell you how to counter that. And in actual fact, it'll help your dizziness long term.